Finally is that they don't properly equip their team to do their best. Now I'm about to really start a war up in this room. I just want you to raise your hand. Who's team Walmart? Who's team Target? Yo, yo, who's team? Amazon. And well, I, you can't go into Amazon. That's the reason I asked. You can't. All right, so I was in Target, right? <laughs> I was in y'all's store. I'm in Target, and I'm in the men's section. And in the men's section, I don't know if they have in the Walmart. I know in Target, in the men's section, and in the women's section, I think they have carpet on the floor, right? So I'm in the men's section looking for some graphic tees, and I hear, I'm like, what is that? And I look, and there's a Target employee. Now I'm adding a little bit. She wasn't doing all that, but she was sweeping the rug. She was sweeping the rug. How many of y'all sweep your rugs at home? And did your carpet? Now, not the front a little bit. All right, we don't. Yeah, I do. Oh. All right, no judgment then. So no. Well, you know, I don't know if you know this thing, but there's this thing called a vacuum. Okay, there's this thing called the vacuum cleaner, right? That's really designed for carpets and rugs. I said rug, but I said carpet. If your rugs are different, rugs are a little different. But anyway, she was sweeping the carpet. And I'm like, oh my gosh, why is she sweeping the carpet? Because she was sweeping her heart out. She was a hard employee. She was sweeping. I'm like, get it, girl. She was sweeping. But I couldn't stop thinking, like, they have vacuums in aisle A32. <laughs> Why are you not vacuuming the carpet? And it hit me that her bosses, while they had a dedicated employee, a hardworking employee, they were not properly equipping her with everything she needed to do her job at the top level. And what will happen when you don't equip your, your team, your, your people, with the, everything they need, you can't on one side, one, one, one hand, not equip them. But then when it comes time for raises, promotions, evaluations, hold them accountable for what they couldn't do because you didn't give them the tools to do it. That's not good leadership. So that's got to be, you know, when you're talking about leading, and the mistakes leaders make is that you, you've got to fully equip your team with the things that they need. Now, here's the thing. Some things may be out of your control, okay? If you need a new, you know, accounting system, you can't just go and buy an accounting system. I understand that. But if you know that's the issue, then that's where the communication starts, right? That's where you start listening to your team. You start working together. And at least get the buy-in. When they can trust, you go back to the trust because they hear you saying, they, look, I'm in this with y'all. I want a better system, too. You know, but then when it comes time for evaluations, you have to take that into account and help them understand. I mean, you know, hold, you have to understand rather what limitations that they have. Everybody getting that? How many of you ready to go yell at your manager for making you sweep the carpet? Nobody? All right.